Look at that. Look at this guy, folks. Wow. Oh, that's a spotted bay bass. And what we're doing, we're just in shallow water over some grass. We'll make a nice long cast just like for bass. We've got regular bass rods and reels. Tell you what, Tommy, we've caught some beautiful fish today. Under and over and around. Everybody's got a fish on. All right, that's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. a good one. <laughs> this is fun. Bass Pro Shops presents Fishing with Roland Martin. Brought to you by Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, designed by fishermen for fishermen. Timbuk2, Fisher's Choice, real bait ready when you are. And by Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Closed caption provided by Spro Lures. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Mega Strike, when every fish counts. Okay, son. Well, Tommy, what do I have here? Spotted bay bass. Huh? Look at, oh, that's a toad there. Look at that. That's a nice one, Roland. Holy cow, that's hey, a great look, fit. Look at that. Look at this guy, folks. Wow. Oh, that's a spotted bay bass. And today we're fishing San Diego Bay with Tommy Goins. Tommy is an ex commercial fisherman. And you run a big seafood place right now. Yeah. And, and so this is a pretty good fish. That's a beautiful fish, Roland. Okay, this is a sp spotted, spotted bay, bay bass. bass. And we're using freshwater tackle. I'm going to go ahead and release him. Yeah, toss him I'm back. using a spinner bait, a brand new Spro spinner bait. What are you using, Tommy? I got the Spro chartreuse crank bait on there, okay. the little minnow. And what we're doing, we're just in shallow water over some grass. We're making a nice long cast, just like for bass. We've got regular bass rods and reels, and just slow rolling spinner baits and, and working those minnow baits along, and we're catching fish in San Diego Bay. Well, Tommy, it's great. You, you're really an expert here, and you catch a lot of other fish. What other fish can, can we catch today? There's bonefish back here, yellowfin croaker, uh, how, big halibut back in here. There's crevelli back here. Just a vast assortment. There's bonita, there's big Spanish mackerel, there's Pacific mackerel. It's a great, great fishery back here. Look at these birds. You know, years ago, as you know, we have a big giant sport fishing fleet here, and years ago oh. they used to catch the anchovies back in here. Oh, okay. Everham Bait Company back here. You'd come back here and they'd, they'd set the net on these anchovies back here. And now they can't do it, and all this bait is just keeps stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. Well, I'll be going out, uh, the latter part of the show, I'll be going out on, on, a, on a long range boat. Where you got one, Tommy? Ah, I I'll be them. going out and uh, we'll be using anchovies, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, anchovies and sardines, again, from uh, Everham Bait Company. You know, I love the San Diego area, and one of the big draws, of course, is the commercial fleet, fleet of long range boats. That's, that's always a big deal. We'll show that after a while. And, but right now, we're fishing for just a lot of fish in San Diego Bay in a, in a small boat. Uh, a boat that I borrowed, by the way, it's, my, yes. it's not my regular nitro boat because uh, oh, that's three thousand miles away in Florida. Way to go, son! What you got? Yeah, this feels like another bass. Pretty big. Look at that guy. I'm gonna try one of those yeah, new boy, plugs. He got me right in the grass. This little guy did, didn't he? Yeah. I'm gonna try one of those little plugs. Uh, we have a, that new little Spro plug too. I'm gonna try it in just try a that, second. Uh, that prototype, yeah. The, the one that, uh, that new little plug that you have? I'll tell you what, these are, these are some kind of fish. They're aggressive, being the size they are, a pound and a half or so. Look at these birds, it's this yeah. stuff's right here, come on. Oh, hey Tommy, I got something. A little one. 
He ain't no, so he's little. Not, he's not so little. <laughs> hey, what do you think, folks? That's hey, nice. look at that. That's a nice spot of bay bass. Oh, yeah. Look at that, huh? Huh? That's a good one. He hit right. You know, he hit the first time on that spinnerbait. Look at that guy. Hey, what do you think? So this is kind of the average size huh. for the it's most great part. Fish. Now these have a mouth similar to a largemouth bass. They have a few little teeth on them, but in general they're uh, they're a bassy looking creature. And you know that's a pretty aggressive fish to be able to hit a great big half spinnerbait that large. And I was just slow rolling it, Tommy. I was just throwing it out there, and he'd hit the thing the first cast. I was just kind of easing along. When I mean slow roll, I'm just I'm just rolling the blade slowly right over top of the grass. The grass is sticking off the bottom. You can see it on the depth finder. It's sticking off the bottom about a foot, not even that. It's kind of low grass to the bottom, and they're just they're in little patches of that grass. Just There's one. Along. Yeah. Going? Hey, way to go, Tommy. Oh, way to go. Ah. Get him now. Get him out of there. Get one of those jigs from you. There we go. Here he comes. Nice little bass, huh? Yeah. Get him out of there. Yeah. Uh. A little bit bigger, huh? Got some shoulders to him. He definitely got an attitude. He's got an attitude, huh? Oh, yeah. I got one. I, had, I missed one. One on now you way. notice the color yeah, on these oh, rolling. He, these these out here in this flat are a little lighter in color. You see the belly's all white as opposed to the ones that we were catching back in the eelgrass. They're all green and yellow all along the bottom here. And this guy's up in the flats eating the clam, so he's got a white-sided bottom side to him. Now I put this little uh, Yamamoto uh, grub on. What do you think? Is that a good color? I love that color. Okay. Chartreuse okay. is a great color in here. Okay, I'll throw it out there. It's I just had a strike when I dropped it down. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. Nitro Boats presents this segment of Fishing with Roland Martin. That might be a bat right now, the way he's coming out that angle. Stay with him. I just have to follow him around. We having fun now, huh? Ooh. How the heck did, right. did that happen? I got him on the, on the, on the wing. I got him on the wing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh you gotta well. be careful with these because they got that big stinger. Big stinger, yeah. <laughs> You're getting some good footage there, I tell you. Nice job, Rowan. That thing. I think the hook's a little good. Hey, you're right, Tommy. They, they hit it on the sink. I was really watching that line. You need a good visible line. And I'm using a, uh, a Mamoy Illusion line. This is a 10 pound line on this little spinner reel. Oh, look at that nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spotted bay bass. Is that what they call them? Yeah, look at, wow, that's a nice that's one too. Nice one. See, they don't get much bigger. I mean, they get four pounds, four and a half pounds is about it. Good chunk of fish here. Oh, Yamamoto grub. And what you were doing, what we're doing is basically he hit it on the sink? Did he hit it on the sink? Yeah, he hit it on the sink. There. Okay, throw it out there and just, just watch your line, just watch your line. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Hey, it's lunchtime. What do you want to do about lunch? I'm hungry. You say we go to a restaurant? Where? Bay Park Seafood. Okay, hey, hey, that's a good place. I've heard a lot about it. They got Let's great go. food. I'm ready. Okay. Wow, wow look, look at that. that. Holy mackerel. That is yellowfin tuna, sear. Fresh yellowfin. Wow. Hey, Jerry, I really love sushi. That's one of my favorite things. Is that yourself? We caught that yesterday. We got four nice fish. Can we a little bit of wasabi, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. You like that? Mm -hmm.
Now, yesterday, Tommy, you took me on a tour of Catalina Offshore Fishing Products. Tell, tell the camera a little bit about what, what's going on there. Yeah, Catalina Offshore Products, we're a seafood wholesaler, uh, primarily Baja hook and line fish, responsible fishing practices, cotton taken by the old sleepy villages down in Mexico, by the pongueros, we call them. Okay. These guys go out every day and they hook and line uh, rock cod, sheephead, ling cod, halibut, yellowtail, and stuff like that. And, we're also a major supplier for Southern California for sushi items, and of course that's where the, the sea urchin comes in. The sea place. urchin is such a fascinating thing. You're, you're taking the eggs, and that's a, a great product that's called uni. Correct. Now, now you were talking about this is a sustainable harvest. Right. What do you, what do you mean by sustainable? Well, we, 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 it's reliable fishing practices. We're not going out there and harvesting everything at one time. It's, it's regulated by the fishing game. It's set forth by the divers and it's watched by the divers. You gotta remember that if if we just leave the sea urchin as B. Then then they eat up the kelp. And we have no kelp for us. So so, the, so there's a kelp industry and then there's a sea urchin industry and there's a balance between the two. And and then yeah, and then there's the sport fishing industry and then the tourist industry and you know we have a massive kelp forest out there off the coast of California now. And if we don't harvest these animals, then they'll wipe it out. And we won't have anything for the fish. And then the fish leave and everything's gone. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Ooh, ooh. Better than the green, salt green dog. That is good sushi. Ooh, son. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, boy. I want to taste some scallops. Oh, son. And these are our small ones. Oh, boy. These are the small ones, so I want you to... But these are sushi grade, right? These are all sushi grade scallops. I want you to try this. Ooh, son, I love sushi. Mmm. Mm. Is that the best ever? Mm. So tender. Mm. I don't I got this... Well, I got one. I got this uni down too bad. right here. Oh, you got the uni... I got some uni goop set up. That's that... actually a chum. It's yeah. actually chum, and it really gets them excited. It's all sea urchin guts and it's all natural and it comes in a biodegradable bag and a snap tight container and I got some right here ready to go. You got some ready to put out there. Okay. Another little spotted bay bass there. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that might help a lot. This one's all yellow, just come out of the grass. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we'll show the camera how to do that. We'll uh, put out that chum and, I'll, and as you put it out, I'm going to GPS the exact spot so we can keep drifting over it. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back there and try that. Okay, Tommy, here you got your unigoop right here. Here's the unigoop. Comes okay. in a biodegradable bag here. You can see all the sea urchin just hanging on the outside oh, of this yeah. bag. Big old chum bucket here. So, so I'm gonna put this in. As soon as you put it out, I'm gonna GPS the spot. Okay, bring it over a little okay, bit more, Rowan. There okay. we go, right there. And we just send it right down there. Okay, I'm GPSing it right now. There, I got the spot right on there. And I'm gonna rinse this out now. What we're going to do, folks, this is chum, and in salt water, we can chum. It's legal to chum. It's le you know, in tournament fishing, you can't chum, but in just sport fishing, if you want, you can chum. So we've put the unigoop down there. I've GPS the spot right there. You see it's uh, number two on this thing, and as we drift along, in a second, we'll get away from it. I'll show you what it looks like. And we've GPS that spot right there. So we'll give it a few minutes. We'll drift back over it and see if that attracts the fish. Right there, he's right over the bag. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Look at that, that's cool. Ah, a little dink happy. Right over it. We're I'm nice gonna and back yellow. I'm going to throw back down. You can see where the goop was, because it's all a big slick. This oil from the goop has come up, and you can see it all laying in the water right here. Boy, Tommy, that really works. That works. They're biting like crazy, right on the uni goop. That's, a, that's another another fish, right on the, right on the spot. Let's I'm catch another one. I'm going to throw right back there. Boy, they're, that really attracts them. Hey, Tommy, what are, what's your favorite colors out here for the Spotted Bay Bass? I like the chartreuse, uh, watermelon, uh -huh. and a, a red brownish color with a red flake in it. Okay. When I took this watermelon, and I, what I did, I took my color selector, and it said that the watermelon was a good choice. And that's, I have plenty of Yamamoto watermelon colored grubs. That's why Great. I throw them a lot. I just, it's just a good choice in this color water. And that's what the color selector said. So it gives you confidence. You know, when you're, when it tells you that, that that's the right color, oh, I missed one. It helps your fishing. You fish a little bit more, more so, a little bit more sincere. 
Thank you, I'm hitting grass. Yeah, this is nice from here, boys. I got a big one. I think it's big. I don't know, it hit a spinnerbait right on the goop. Yeah, it's a nice one. Look at that, that's a nice I'll one. i tell you what. i tell you what, Tommy, we've caught some beautiful fish today. Yes, we did. These are aggressive fish that are right here in San Diego Bay. But don't go away, folks, because later on in the show, we're gonna take you tuna fishing.